Girls family, it's Shigazi, also known as Baby Girls, and I'm back in a while with another video. Little baby in a bag in a Birkin, no nine to five but the working, flaws and all, I love them all, and be a perfect baby girl, you got it girl, you got it girl, you got it girl, you got it girl. As you're right back to how I'll be showing you guys how to make your own transparent labels, you know, for lip glosses, lashes, or, or like tubes in general. But before I even get into all that good stuff, I want you guys to go click the first link below called dbalet.com and go copy some lashes and lip glosses. Do not forget, August 20th, I'll be having a huge release coming. I'll be having outfits, shirts, makeup brushes, makeup sponges. I'll be having more lashes for you to choose from. A more variety of lip glosses. I'll also be having these necklaces for sale. So y'all make sure August 20th, do not miss it. It's in like one or two days that y'all do not want to miss out. But anyways, I'm just going to jump right to the video. I started making my own labels like a day ago. Like actually yesterday, probably the day before yesterday. I don't really don't know. I thought it was really hard, but it's more simple than what everybody's making it out to be. All what you need is labels from Avery. You can get this from Avery, and this is the packet that I'm using. Um, the number is 88695. So you can get this from Walmart, you can get this from Avery.com. I know a lot of people tell me, Oh, yeah, you can make your own labels from Avery.com. They could, I mean, not not you can make them, but they can make it for you and they can send it to you for a cheaper price. Well, technically, they can, but you know, I just like doing everything myself, I like doing things the hard way. So, yes, that's what I'm just gonna be doing. I'm just gonna be doing it myself, you know, the hard way because I just like difficult stuff you know basically all what you need is you need just any type of paper get what you want you need a printer you need obviously ink then you need like a phone or computer you need to go into avery.com type in the number that you want which i'm gonna do that already i'm gonna show you walk you through the steps on how i do that i'm gonna start putting the labels on my stuff because it is way more professional to have your labels on you know your items that you start selling instead of just leaving it like you know bare like just plain okay so that's what i'm gonna be doing I just realized I talked so fast. I said all that in under two minutes or two minutes and 30 seconds. But I am so sorry, y'all. Please forgive me. But you see, I like talking fast and getting to the point. Like, you know, actually getting to the point instead of saying a whole bunch of stuff in 30 minutes. When I could just say all that in like, what, 10, 15 minutes. You know, it'd be aggravating sitting through a video for a long period of time just to get, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And it's on. So, we're just going to go to... So what you're gonna do is just go to pin college. Well, that's what I use to make my logos or just to put something. I, you know, I'm just simple. I'm that simple chick. I'm just gonna, you know, put something together with my name, slap my name on something, and boom. So this is what I made on pin college. Okay. You can search up whatever you want. You can search up PNG. You know, PNG is where the background is transparent, so it's like better and easier for you. So this is what it looks like. I just take a screenshot. I go into my gallery go right here then I go and um crop this out like this which I already have it cropped out but I'm just gonna show you how I do it so now I have it like this now I'm just going to go to avery.com and this is the website and what you're gonna do is go to the search button right there tap it and type in the number the number usually appears just like right here or at the bottom of this so you just take that and you type it into right here so i will do that now eight eight six nine five okay and i search it up and it's just going to pop up so now you got to make sure it actually looks the same so this one is four columns going down and this looks exactly the same as this. So I would just hit start designing. Although they can print for you and send it to your house, but you know, I'm that difficult chick. I'm just gonna do it myself. Now you can choose a whole bunch of, you know, like templates that you wanna use, but I just go to the plain one. Now I know that you could edit like one by one, you know, edit one by one to hit select and edit one by one. Or you can just like edit the whole sheet, you know, so it's all the same stuff. But I'm just gonna edit the whole sheet hit edit right here and i'm gonna hit add objects i would then hit image go to camera roll go right to and tap on the photo that i want to use and now it will appear now i would just like make it bigger to like fill up the whole you know label the label sticker after that i'm just gonna tap on the text i would then hit more i'll hit align objects and i'll hit center on the product 
so it can get on the center and you know it don't be like crooked or whatever so it makes it centered uh, they can print for you but you don't want to hit that if you want to print it yourself then you just hit print pdf you do want to save your project to whatever make sure you know what it's saved to or you can just like type in your own stuff to save it under a different name i will hit save then it will bring me to this page right here now i would then now this is what it looks like and i will then go and hit this right there obviously it's right here stupid anyways i would just hit i'll find print i'll turn this on first um i will hit print now before you even you know print on these pages right here you do not want to mess up so what you're going to do is just take a regular old paper and put it in a printer and you know see the outcome of it so this is my printer i would then just hit print and now it will just print on this paper first I'll just hit stop. I don't need to do all that. So now this is how it looks. Now that is perfect. So this is perfectly, this is how it looks up close. And now I know that it will print perfect like how I want it. I'm just gonna put one page in it, you know, because I already printed a whole bunch of labels already. Now I'll just go back right here and just hit print also. Hit print, go up here, hit print. And now it will just print this on that paper. And I will still be using this logo, but like not to print my own labels because I'll show you how it looks when I print my own labels with my old logo. See, See this, it comes out like this and it's so light. See how bolder this one is and how lighter this one is? So usually I like that little, you know, the nice cursive and I take eyelashes and I put it right there for my, you know, D-E-E. -E. I'm going to still use this for my logo, but when I print it myself, I would just use this because, you know, people can see it better on my lip glosses. I also have a vendor that prints my actual logo like this perfectly fine. It is dark. It is not a sticker. They actually print on the tube. So I have a vendor that actually does that, but I don't have a vendor that does my smaller tube. So I would just use these logo as my smaller tubes. But anyways, this is how it looks. But anyway, this is just a simple tutorial video, whatever you call this video, on how to make your own transparent logos from home, transparent stickers. So I'll take one off of here. And this is how it looks when you take it off. This is how it looks. You know, it's just something simple. Now this one, I've done this earlier in like a different font, but I will start doing it like these. So this will be my official logo that y'all be seeing on my tubes. This is how it looks on a tube with lip gloss in it. Now this is perfect for now. I'm still a small business in the making, like in the process of growing. So this is all what I need. And yes, if y'all have any tips for me, please feel free to drop it down below because like, you know, I'm accepting tips. I'm willing to give tips. If you have any questions regarding, you know, businesses or whatever, I'm willing to help you, but please do not ask me for my vendors. Do not ask me where I actually get my products. If I put it in my bio, then like, if I'm, I will put where I got this printer, obviously, where I got this paper, but you know, if I found a vendor, if I found an eyelash vendor, like don't ask me what's my eyelash vendor, like my specific vendor for that. Now you can ask me where I get my oils from because that's like an obvious thing, but don't ask me like this stupid question. I spent a lot of money trying to find the best lashes, like the best wearable lashes. See, I can't just give you something because you have to waste your money too. If I wasted my money, I'm not just going to give you like nectar. That's just not okay. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. If you did not enjoy today's video, also give me a thumbs up because I'll try to help you some type of way possible. And also, why not support me? Do not forget, August 20th, I'll be dropping a whole bunch of merch, a whole bunch of outfits, a whole bunch of everything August 20th, and you do not want to miss out. Also, if you want to become a D-Beauty model, click the first link below in my description box, and you will see where you can fill out a brand ambassador form. If you want to become a model, click the first link below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, comment below any other videos you want me to do or you want to see on my channel, and I will do it, and I am out. Peace.